Hi, welcome back. I wanted to let you guys, I'm working on a project and I thought it's in its ugly stage and everybody gets to see it when it's in its beautiful stage, <laughs> but I don't know how many people show it in the ugly stage. So I'm making a smash book and I'm making a smash book for friends. She travels a lot and she she's a journaler and I decided I would make her just like a little appreciation gift, a smash book out of an old novel. And as you guys know, I'm a collector and recycler of a lot of different things. So here's a quick flip through while it's in its ugly stage, and then tomorrow I will give you guys a flip through when it's in its when it's in its better stage. So for those of you who don't know what Smash or are new to Smash booking, Smash booking is like um, making a scrapbook without a layout. So you, the idea is you smash your stuff in a book. So some of these I've whited out. I've just painted out with just cheap acrylic paint. I made a pocket here. It's like a four ply page pocket. Two pages glued together in the front. Two pages glued together in the back. And then um, you know makes a really nice deep pocket. And I've added some flowers that I make from you know if you guys have watched my channel you know I make flowers from flyers. Now she may cover all of this up and that's great you know. I do keep my books next to me. I do have a stack of books next to me. And when I'm jelly printing, I roll off. So some of the, into the books, so some of the pages are going to be super colorful and some of them aren't. And I did take quite a lot of the pages out of the book um, so that she has room to smash in it. Some of them, what I did was I just cut um, with a razor. And then this one I glued in a whimsical children's book page. Added a couple book pot, uh, library pockets made from book pages. You know, it's just a really fun little op, little book to keep her memories in. So here's here's a section where I've like slid up, taken some of the pages and just slid them with a razor. And then this is just a magazine page that I love the patterning on. And so I'm just gonna glue it in, and I'll use like a little hint. These pages form like a little hinge. And I'll just glue it in the front and the back. And let me see which side will I use. Maybe I'll use this side. So it's it's good. It's important to use a permanent glue if you can, not a school glue if you're going to glue in pages for them because school glue sometimes doesn't hold. And I think doing using glue sticks has been the most successful for me when I make altered books. So good quality glue stick and. You know, you're good to go. Now, what's fun about this is that, you know, if you kept these books like I do next to your table and you start rolling off jelly printing, you can, if you decide later on you want to make a complete altered book, so you can see, like, this page is going to be, I'm going to cut, I'll go ahead and cut this page out. Now, the one thing that I did uh, decide when I'm making... Uh, altered books is to use a book that has that has sewn in pages not one that has glued in pages and I'll show you that really quick like you can you can tell by generally the spine you can see them sewn in but you can also let me see if I can find it in here you can see where the you can if you get to where the signatures are sewn in you'll be able to see the thread. So that's sort of important. Uh, the pages don't all unravel. Now some of them I've taken completely out so there won't be any I would say you take half to a third of the pages out, a third to half, depending upon how big your book is. This book's pretty fat. And so, you know, she can smash whatever she wants. Added more book pages. You can see some colored roll-offs. I may still cut more book pages out. I added some magazine pages. Now, keep in mind, these are just going to be backgrounds. So, say this was a photograph she'd taken and she wanted to put it in. Isn't that fun? It looks really fun on this background. So the magazine pages were meant to be like backgrounds for things. And and the same with this, you know, the same with painting on the book pages. I don't know if you can see it, but I just painted on some of them. So I hope this gives you some ideas. And I'll do a quick flip through tomorrow when I'm when I'm ready to post it. Another page that I made. I mean another pocket that I've made, gluing pages together. So you can use anything. And let me get to the fun part. So the and I use some scrapbooking paper too. So I don't want you to think that I'm I'm just a recycling snob. But somewhere in here there is some scrapbooking. 
Okay, here's one. Double-sided scrapbooking paper that I glued in as a page. So you can use anything. You know, keep in mind though, if she's going to use it as a real smashbook where she's gluing it in, you don't want to glue super heavy cardstock in. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to make the pages, you know, if you glue it in between here, but you know, you want to give her room if she's going to glue it, in, glue stuff in. So I made a little hidden pocket. Now keep in mind, it's still in the ugly stage. So you guys are really getting to see it as it is. Now, usually I would glue it down to the back, but this one I decided that I wasn't going to. So what I did was I laid some wax paper down and what you do is you clamp the pages with book bind with uh, those black binder clamps and then you paint just on the outside edge several coats of a PVA white glue and let it dry. And then when it dries those pages are stuck together. Then you take your exacto knife or your razor blade and start cutting out the middle. I just was careful not to cut all the way through. And I think what I may do, which I haven't, I want to, anyway, I'm kind of working out the, the logistics of, I may put um, either a grommet here and, gr and a grommet there and grommet some elastic so it holds in, or maybe I'll make a pocket. I, I haven't quite, might cover a half of it with fabric. I'm still kind of working out the details. But I did make it pin size because I did get her a couple of really cool markers. I wanted to send her a really nice micron. And you know, so that it, they stay in the book, so she doesn't lose them. So I wanted to give you guys a flip through in the ugly stage of my smash book that I'm sending to my friend. Um, and these are some bits and pieces that I just cut out of magazines and stuff that I'm going to put in. You know, with the understanding that she is fully going to may cover them all up. You know, so just some fun bits and stuff. I, I love to collect. Just odds and end bits and recycle a lot of stuff. And I'm going to make her some embellishments. I started cutting out some cool stuff to make some embellishments for a book, too. Anyway, that's my current project that I have of so many of them sitting here to be finished. If you guys would still like to enter my giveaway, it's so, so simple. Um, and it will I will definitely be giving it away before New Year's, the giveaway. You have to watch all 12 of my make videos. It'll say series, it'll say series, and it'll be numbered one through 12. So far, this will be number nine. And you must be a current subscriber. You must comment on all 12 videos, and you must give each, you must like by giving each video a thumbs up, and you will be entered. And the big giveaway that I'm doing is between, it'll be, be before New Year's, maybe I'll do it New Year's Eve, is one of, at, at least one sample of most things I've made. So in the wreath samples, I'll send you a paper wreath or a fabric wreath. I won't do the candy wreath. It's so heavy to mail. I shipped one out and it was crazy to mail it. And I want to make this open to everyone, so not just U.S. subscribers. And I will send you one of my tassels and pair of earrings and a book charm. Anything that I've featured in the series, and I will also, hopefully, between now and then, be able to make you a small altered book as well. And if I can't get to the altered book, I'll send you some cool give some cool goodies to to go in your altered book. So as always, thank you for watching, and I'm sending you so much aloha. Hope you have a crafty, creative day. Take care.